it's Christmas time. Today is part two of my Christmas hoard. And it's, I think there's even, well, there is just as much stuff in this other cabinet as there was in the cabinet that you, of the video that you watched yesterday. It was so long that I had to divide it into two videos. So this is part two. I will link part one below in the description so you can see all of that mess. And anyway, let's go ahead and get on with part two of this video so it isn't four hours long. So let's go. Okay, we've moved on to cabinet stash number two. Um, one, well, there's one thing I wanted to show you that dad had found for me and I'm super excited to get it cleaned up and display it probably on top of this cabinet. And that is this really cool vintage plastic Santa and reindeer. Uh, you can see Santa is there. I think it's probably like he had like presents and stuff out coming out of his, of his sack. They're dirty. I need to clean the reindeer up, but I think that they'll look cute up there with my globes. So I'm going to get him cleaned up, but I wanted to go ahead and show him to you. Dad also picked up a Nutcracker. This is from Santa World, and I believe that he is in. I don't think that he's broken. He is broken. His foot's broken off. So he is part of the cool club of broken Nutcrackers. So he will go in some of my display. Okay, and I'm, the lighting is probably not the best. We'll try to make it work. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out some things. I have Flock Santa, Big Flock Santa here. I picked this up at an antique store in New Harmony as well. And he has some issues to him, but I don't have any this size. At least I don't think that I do. So he will go into my stash. And then I also got, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I'll see. It's made by Norcrest. It's this Merry Christmas plate. I picked it up at Goodwill. You can see there it's made by Norcrest. I don't know. I thought it might look good as like a background on one of my shelves. And then I also picked up this guy. Creepy Teeth Santa. Again, you notice his teeth because you will now. Every time, every time we see him, I'll, I'll see his teeth. See his teeth? He has teeth. He's three-dimensional. You can see here. He probably had a light source behind him, but he'll look cool just kind of hanging on a wall with his creepy teeth and all. And then I have several of these. So just this little plastic Santa plates, like for serving. And um, they look good on the background, you know, as a background for, for display. Also at the um, antique store in New Harmony, um, Firehouse Antiques, which is an amazing place. If you're ever in Southern Indiana and you're in the New Harmony area, make sure that you go. She's fabulous. Her stuff is amazing. And I did buy two of these little um, vintage Christmas, Mercury Christmas bulb minis. I like them in their packaging. So I'm gonna leave them in their packaging when I display them. Okay, and I have, I don't think she has her husband, but here's Miss, we'll see if we find Mr. Claus. I found Mr. Claus first time, la the last cabinet, but here's Mrs. Claus. She's made in Japan. She's a salt and pepper shaker. Don't think I have Santa. And then there's this guy. I don't remember where I got him from, but he's like a little troll, but, or elf, I guess. Not troll, he's an elf. He's got some missing, like his thumb is broken off. He's got some chips on his hat. He's made out of like a wood composite. I just think that he's really kind of cool. And he'll sit, he sits on top of a shelf. So he's checking his list, checking the list twice for Santa, I think. So we'll put him, he's kind of heavy too. So if he, if he would fall off the shelf, he might give you a concussion. Then I have this sleigh here that I like to put my flock Santas in. I don't think I, well, I'll just show you him. <laughs> I just love him. Look at him. Look at his eyelashes. Santa has eyelashes. He's made in Japan. This little brush tree. I think he's fabulous, but you know, you can put your little flock Santas in um, these sle sleighs. This is a napka wear. It probably had a floral arrangement and actually I know that it did because there's floral foam down there 
but you can stack up all your Santas in there and they can just have them a nice little sleigh ride. So there's that and that. All right, and then I got, I got a baby in here. She's not Christmassy. I might make her Christmassy though. Maybe I'll put a Santa hat on her. She might get displayed again. Then I have, this is just a Mrs. Claus. Uh, she goes on a taper napkin, oh, napkin, taper candle. She's like, woo! I, I don't know what she at one time had in her hand, but didn't she look, she's like, like, woo, it's party time, it's Christmas time. I don't know. She's napka, no, I don't know if she's napka wear. She's made in Japan. I don't know what she was supposed to be holding in her hand, but there's her. I'll have to let her whoop it up again on another candle. And then here's a rubber from Stallwood Toy, made in Taiwan. He's a rubber dog toy, maybe? Santa? He'll go in my Santa collection. I don't know. I don't remember where I got him from, but I mean, creepy elf. And his pants don't stay on quite right, but I don't know what I'll do with him. If anything, I may end up selling him. And then I do like the Scotch. I do have several of these, and they're in my attic stash that I'll be getting down. But I did find another one. This is electrical tape. I like to display these at Christmas time. Just the plaid. Just as Christmassy looking. Oh, here's a bunny. He should go with the, he goes, he needs to go with the Easter stuff. I have a bag full of bag full of sus stuff in here. These are some puppets, but there were some Christmas puppets. Oh, these are cute. These are little finger puppets. We have a snowman and a Santa. Little finger puppets. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. What else is in here? Oh, and it oh oh there's more. And a reindeer puppet. And a little Prixie puppet. Hmm. I got all those at a yard sale. And then there's like a tiger and a lion. They have nothing to do with Christmas. We'll throw them over there. Then I've got... I have two of these. There's another one in here somewhere. These are stuff that Dad found. They're, they're odd. Um, you look through Santa's eyeball... Like that. So you like put Santa's face up to your face. This one doesn't work, but the other one does. It's a view master. So there's different Christmas scenes in here. It's so weird. So there's that. Santa head. The other one's in here somewhere. And I'll eventually get to it. I have a lot of these. I love these Mary's Angels ornaments. I know that Anne Eckhart sells these very readily on her in her eBay store. I don't know which ones I have in my ornament box. And which ones I don't. So if I have duplicates, I will be selling them. But this one is Chris, Chrysanthena. I don't know. Chrysanthena, I think. So I have that one. And they're, they are all in the box. And I just have several of them. I got them at an auction. This is Sweet William. Mary's Angels. This one is not in its box. So... I don't know which one. I mean, the dates on the bottom. I'll just have to look it up. But there's this little guy. Aren't they cute? I think they're adorable. I love these. I have them on my tree. And then I have this Santa. It's a little made in Japan Santa. With, made out of the mercury glass. Okay. And then Alex also sent me this little bunny. Which is Easter. So I don't know why I'm showing it. And I have this Santa mug. This one's glass. And Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. sent me these little creepy things. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. I forgot they had Santa faces on them. There's two of them. Isn't that hilarious? Like, you could like totally make these into earrings. There's those guys. Here's some more. Mar another Mary's Angel. This one is... For Cynia. They can't make these names that I can pronounce. There's this one. All right. Oh, this makes me nervous because I've got just stuff just not put on here very well. This is a Fitz and Floyd Santa. 
salt shaker. I don't know if I have his match, but I like him. He's the FF on the bottom, Misfits and Floyd. So I have him. And then I have a flocked Mrs. Claus, which I don't think that I have. So she'll be going with, she'll have all kinds of men. She'll be surrounded with all kinds of Santas. And then I found these. I found a couple of these. And I'm keeping this one. It's in the original packaging. And it's Santa Claus table decoration in the original packaging. Um, imported and it's made in Japan. You can see right there. And it's just Santa leaning up against a fence. It's just a little, it's just a little uh, ceramic figure. But I love that it's in the original packaging. So that's probably one of my favorite things that I found this year, I think. Okay, and then I have Rhonda. Rhonda, I couldn't think of her name earlier. I found another Rhonda. There's actually several of these in here. I have a whole slew of them. I love them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I love them. All right, and then I got, this is not old, you know, it has the barcode here, which is your first clue that things are not vintage, but it has a very vintage look. This is the snow flocking. I'll put this on a display, uh, one of my shelf displays. Now, I don't do tiered trays because they just gather up. I, I don't like a lot of, well, I don't like a lot of things on my counter. Do I have a lot of things on my counter? Yes. Do I like it? No. Is it decor? Decor? No. Is it just stuff? Yes. So I like to have little shelves um, that I hang on the wall to change out for the holidays. And um, you'll you'll see one in, an, in a video when I do my holiday decor. But this will go on one of those shelves. Um, and I just like the color. I like the graphic on it. And it's new, but that's okay. Because I still like it anyway. And then this is a cute ornament that I will sell because we have a pre-lit tree and it's like they have fairy lights on them. So they don't have like your traditional Christmas lights and you put your Christmas light in here and it glows back there. And then, uh oh, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Maybe it's been overwhelmed. I don't know, but it's super cute. It will look cute on just on display. And it's like the night before Christmas. And if this thing worked, boy, someone has overwhelmed it, which is probably why it ended up at Goodwill. Um, the little dog's tail wags. And then this reindeer, they go around. But I guess I'm keeping it since it's not going to work. Okay, this is like Tetris. Those are Valentine's Day. Oh, I got this at Goodwill for 99 cents. And it's Santa Claus land. Now, in southern Indiana, in Santa Claus, Indiana, yes, there is such a thing. There is a magical theme park called, well, it's called Holiday World now. But when I was a kid, it was called Santa Claus land. And I like to find things that say Santa Claus land on them because it's a sign of what it used to be and not what it is now. I mean, it's a great park now. But just as a kid, I remember a Santa Claus land. And this is a souvenir piece from Santa Claus land. So that's going to go in my collection, my boxes. I need to put these. Okay, I'm tossing these boxes over into a chair. They're not getting broken. They're just getting out of my way because I need space for the things that are breakable. Then, uh, and every time I open this cabinet, this guy looks at me. And I love him. He is, I paid... 69 cents for him at Goodwill. You can see there's the 69 cents tag. He's made in Japan. Isn't he great? It's this little Santa picture. I love him. So this was a great find for 99 cents. I'm keeping him. Here's the thing too. When you see these, don't, I want to say don't, you, don't submerge them in a sink full of water to clean them. He's dirty on the inside. I'm going to have to just clean him with a washcloth on the inside but if you put him in water, all of the red off of his hat will come off. It hasn't been fired on the glaze. So it's just been painted and you're on your own after you've bought it because the paint will come off. I have many of Santa mugs that I have cleaned and now the paint is gone. So be careful with these because you can already see the paint's already coming off. But they're not fired onto the paint. So they're, it's 
you put it in your sink and all the paint will be gone. All right, and then I have a chubby, a little chubby nutcracker, and he's so cute, he's so chubby. He actually is not broken, so he's not one of the cool kids, but, I mean, he's still neat. Burp, burp, burp. So he'll go with my other nutcracker collection. And then I have Butt Santa. Found Butt Santa. I've tried to give Butt Santa to, my, to Emma, to my daughter, to take to her apartment, but she won't take him. I don't know why. It, you know, it's just a piece of wood that was a heart at one time and someone turned it into Santa face, but it's butt Santa because it kind of looks like a butt. I think he's weird, so I'm keeping him. Okay, this is Easter. Here. This is something that I ordered on Amazon for myself and I ordered one for my best friend too and I've already given it to her because that's the way I am. I can't wait. I have to get things. When I buy something for someone, I have a hard time not giving it to him right away. But it's the teeny tiny tinsel tree. So I'm not, I'm not going to take it out of the package, but it's this little teeny tiny Christmas tree. The reason why I wanted it so bad isn't necessarily for the tree, but it was for this. And I will show this to you because it is fabulous. I wanted this. This was the only thing that I really cared about. And it's just this little miniature tree light. Isn't this great? So it, and it does work. When you put it on the tree, it does reflect on the tinsel tree. So I'm excited to get that out because I think I bought it over the summer. And it's going to make noises the rest of this video. Then I got this little, I do like these mod mid-century angels. This one will go on the top of like a miniature tree. See here you can, you can tie her down to her branch at the top of your tree. But I like her. She's pretty, she's pretty cool. And then this will also go on a display shelf. It's just a little honeycomb Santa. It's a little patriotic red, white, and blue candy cane. So that's fun. Then I have this mod girl. She was 99 cents at Goodwill. This little mod um, retro caroler. I don't know if I'm going to keep her or not. Actually, I probably will. Because I kept the little derpy boy caroler. So I probably will keep her and put her with her brother. So I don't think I have any other ones. Oh, here's a big scotch tape dispenser. I like these. Isn't this ridiculous? This is a little ridiculous. But when you go to yard sales and you thrift for a living, you end up finding a lot of things. Oh, I have one of these at the shop already. It was 99 cents. Just a little votive Santa candle holder. And then this was 69 cents at Goodwill. The tag is coming off, but all the mugs are 69 cents. Um, and this is a modern one. Probably, I don't know if Target had these last year with a little winking Santa. And it's modern. I can just tell by looking at it. Basically by here, it's just two bright white versus, see the rim of that one? I don't know. You can just, you, you start to be able to really tell the difference. I'm running out of room. Let me put this box on the floor. Okay. Then I have some of these wooden. <laughs> He's an angry Santa. Look at him. Arr! He's on little skis. He's a little wooden ornament. Oh, and these. I got these from the bins. They're tied together, but I'm, I need to untie them. I think someone probably, I don't know why they had them tied together, but it's this cruel Mr. and Mrs. Claus. He's great. I got him at the bins. I find a lot of vintage Christmas items at the bins. Oh, here is a little, I wonder if he, hmm. I don't think he goes with the Mrs. Claus, but this is just a little Santa uh, salt and pepper shaker. I don't know what he is doing exactly. I don't know what he has in his hand. It looks like a whip. Where's the back of him? I don't know what that is, but anyway, is it a fishing pole? Is he fishing? I don't know. Then I have, oh, oh I remember this guy. Yeah, I'll show you this first. This is Bath and Body Works uh, stand. I, I find these a lot at Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for it. It's really pretty for my candles from Bath and Body Works. This is, oh, I've already showed him in another video. But he's been stashed away, and it is time for him to make another appearance and bless you 
with his presence, but it's creepy eyed Santa. This is what I mean about washing your mugs. Someone has tried to wash him and like he has piercing eyes now. He's staring into your soul. Um, so don't wash these in the sink. You're just going to have to wash them. You're going to have to give them a sponge bath on the outside very gingerly. Otherwise, I mean, if you want one of these, go ahead and do that. But he's just, I kind of like him even more, but he isn't, I don't think he is a vintage one, so it doesn't break. No, he is vintage because he's got all this crazing on the bottom. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but he is was a vintage cup. I kind of like him that he's kind of creepy now, but oh, here's another half burnt Bath and Body Works holiday candle, but this is what, you know, your candles go in there. You get the, you get the idea. I'm so glad that I bought more Bath and Body Works candles. This one doesn't have a, doesn't have the ornament. It's just the box of another Mary's Angel. Maybe I thought, maybe I have that one and I needed a box for it. I don't know. These were my son's. I don't know. He'll we'll probably put, hang them in his room, but they're Pokemon mini ornaments. I got it at Salvation Army for $2. He doesn't even know I have these. He maybe won't care. I don't know. Okay, then I have Santa. And this is, what is the name? Not Rushton. Leave a comment below because my, my brain is not working. But the guy, the Santa's with the plastic boots. Gosh, what is that guy's name that makes these? I don't remember. I don't think that it's on him anywhere. But anyway, there's him and I'm keeping him because I, I love these. And I get, I do a little happy dance when I find these. I love them. I brought another one home that dad found at the shop. And I think I've showed it in another video. I have picture frames tossed in here. I have a lantern that I'll display with my Christmas stuff. Thrifted. And then, okay, so these, none of that stuff is Christmas. This is Easter, so we'll put that down with the Easter stuff. Here is a cute little, um, I don't know where I got this from. Probably St. Vincent since it has this tag on it. Baby's first swing. Uh, little tykes. Probably I'm going to sell this one. I don't know. It's probably pretty cute. Should we open it up and see? Let's open it up and see how cute it is. Okay, that's pretty darn cute. But it's like a baby's first ornament. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. But I probably will sell it. Which, I need to get it listed now. So we'll put that over here in this for sale. It's like a baby's first Christmas. Then I have another nutcracker and he is missing. I mean, he's just missing all kinds of stuff. He's got no, no, no chest. So he's going to go with the cool kids as well. Ryan, what's this? Oh, oh, this makes me sad. So you guys know that we lost my sweet Bella dog um, just recently. And this says 2016. So I'm going to change it somehow. But it was 99 cents. It is Hallmark. I got it at Goodwill. But it says, Faithful Friend Forever. And I'm going to put Bella's picture in here. I have her little memorial over there. And I say goodnight to her every night. Still, I miss her. Okay, so this is something I picked up at Goodwill for $1.99. It's like a little shadow box. Isn't this cute? So I could put a little Santa down here. Just those little brush trees on it. Very cute. I think it was probably, yeah, it was from Target at one time. Oh, I love this. I don't know where I got this, but this is fabulous too. This is another Santa on his sleigh with just two reindeer. Maybe he was supposed to have more, but he doesn't. So that's pretty fabulous. I love that. Oh, where did I get these off? Oh. So I have a whole box of shiny brights here. You can see that I picked up at Goodwill for $2.99. And maybe I got these for half price. I don't know because I don't remember. These have been stashed in here. But these are all shiny brights. Just the colored ornaments. So those, I, I do have an a, a aluminum tree 
that I already have ornaments for, but I probably will leave these in the box and display them because I love the packaging. Love the packaging. And I like to see where they were originally. Pennies. From pennies? JC pennies, maybe? Very cool. I really like those. And then up here, I've got a just a little Santa salt shaker. I don't think he goes with Mrs. Claus either. They look different. I mean, I will, when I get them both out again, I'll examine them a little further, but. And then these are Holt Howard. I did buy these on Instagram. Um, taper candle holders. These are going to go on my dining room table, but you know, they, they're Holt Howard. They go in your candle on your taper candles for your table. They're Holt Howard 1958. I love Holt Howard Santas. They're my absolute favorite. I mean, I like grumpy Santas, but man, there's just something about that Holt Howard Santa face that I absolutely love. All right, we're still going here. This, oh, there should be two of these. I'm going to stick these on my nephew's Christmas gifts. They will be so thrilled. They won't be, but, but this football Santa and a baseball Santa. So I'm going to stick those on their Christmas gifts. And then I already have one of these. So this one I am going to sell. The one that I have is one that um, we had as a child growing up. Going on with my hair. So this one is really nice. And I'm going to, I am going to list this one online. And it is a 1983 angel. So it's a Hallmark keepsake ornament. So that I am going to list online. Oh, I love these. I love the Hallmark tree trimmer collection. So here's the snowman in his box, in his original box. So I'm go I'm probably gonna keep him too. And then this one's another. This one is Jogging Santa, the keepsake ornament. Um, I don't know. I think about him. I do like that he has his original box, but oh, here's the other creepy Santa head. So you look through his head, and then you hit the little, and it's Christmas scenes. Like there's Santa in his sack full of toys. It's just so creepy to me that you look through his face. I don't know. So I have two of those. Oh, here's another little chubby nutcracker. Oh, this part of his regalia is falling off of his arm. The little chubby guy. He's going to go with his buddies. Easter. And then I have a, oh, this was the one that Alex had sent me. She didn't send me the other Rhonda. She sent me this one because it's a puppet. So I have this one. She's just a bean. This one's just a bean bag. This one's the puppet. They're so cute. So Alex sent me this one. And I think, oh no, there, I've had this guy up here. But I bought this one off of Etsy. Not Etsy. Instagram. This It's a Christmas card holder. So I've, he's been sitting up here since for a while. So I'll redo all of that. But that is all of my Christmas stash that I have saved up over the years. And I mean, this is ridiculous. I will insert a picture of the aftermath. And I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff, but I will make space and I will be doing a holiday home tour video. And hopefully you'll be able to see some of this stuff listed. Again, the stuff that I said I'm going to sell is available and um or will and will be available on ebay very very soon so that is this crazy video and i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you aren't subscribed to my channel i would love for you to come and subscribe i do a lot of thrifting videos and reselling videos and videos about owning an antique store and just kind of some holiday decor and some home decor. So I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye until my next video. Thanks for watching. We wish you a Merry Christmas.